Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Sleeping Dogs. After our uh, truncated last episode of uh, the series, we went on an impromptu date with Not Ping. Um, gave Amanda a call. She's waiting up on Victoria Peak for us, but she may have to just wait there for a little while. As while I was on my way, I was sidetracked by a drug bust at Lume Alley. Um, probably mispronounced that, but I, I'm sure you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Um, I beat up some thugs and hacked the security camera there, and then came back to my apartment, at which time I loaded up the surveillance camera and my game crashed. Um, I know it's probably not good business practice to... Uh, really put those videos up on YouTube or anything, but I figure it's all in the spirit of full disclosure. Um, you know, I I make a lot of videos anymore, but, you know, I'm hardly anything close to being professional, so I figure it just stays a little more true to the essence of what I'm doing here. As, you know, I'm I'm not so much trying to actively provide tutorials or anything for the game, I'm playing it and just sharing that experience with you. Um, I did, however, go back and I reloaded my game from a, a previous save file, which put me close to where I was, and got back to this point and actually used the surveillance camera. So I know that the mission itself isn't broke or anything like that. It was just I'd probably been running the game for too long, because I've probably been playing for about two and a half, three hours at this point. As I said, I do batch recordings. Um... But we're going to queue up the Lume Alley surveillance camera. No crash, no crash, no crash, no crash. Pretty sure this is going to be our guy, seeing as he is carrying the suspicious suitcase of goodies. I just want to get the good candid camera shot, and there it is. Success. Good for ten grand. And now there is a, another mission that is available just outside my door, so we're probably going to do that also. Wait, can I talk to you? Well, sure. I could hear from my apartment. Things like this are happening more and more often. What's up? They I got some bad news for you. So you know Tiffany from the club. She's been stepping out, seeing that long finger chow on the side. What? Nah, There's no way. Listen, man. I overheard her talking to him on the payphone outside her place. I guess she's keeping him off her cell. I'm tracking down a payphone. Well, in this day and age, you know, I'm, I'm sure that payphones are a fine, elusive thing. The rarity along the lines of endangered rhinoceri or elephants or something. Some equally endangered species. There's somebody timber wolves, there we go. Yeah. Which I think are actually off the endangered species list now, but hey, let's let's not be splitting hairs, people. Come on. Don't be busting my balls. Well, yeah, on we go, on we go. Hmm. Boy, this is a happening little spot in this town, I tell ya. Drug bus and a payphone and what have ya.
getting too timed by the girl you're not even dating. Calvin, wait. You were right, man. She's cheating. She's meeting him sometime next week. Keep your eyes open, man. I want to know when they're meeting and where. Forty percent discount on all cars and clothes. Five hundred bucks. Not bad. Uh, that probably maxes out my face rank yet again. Yeah, I really need to start hitting these things. Getting myself some uh, hit point up type action. At least they don't blink as incessantly. Let's see. I think the prudent idea is to uh, get myself some better vehiculars going on here, and then we're going to head on up to Victoria Peak and meet up with Amanda. See what manner of fun and games that might entail for us. And I still need to steal one of those vans, which I will get to at some point. Pinky swear. Find out? Yeah. She's beat him later today. I don't believe this. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to meet Amanda yet.
What the hell you think you're doing? Who are you? Wei Shen, motherfucker, who are you? Oh, so the big triad gangster is mad now? Only the big triad gangster can sleep with other people? Whoa, triad? I'll see you later. Who is this not pink person? You think you can fool around on me and I don't care? Actually, you didn't mean anything to me. I was just part of work. Work? You think I'm an idiot? You think you can go around jumping into other girls whenever you feel like it? Well, what's good for Yang is good for Yin. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, all right? I never meant for you to get hurt. Huh. Some excuse. So you're gonna dump her now? Stay loyal to me? Or do I have to go find another man to keep me warm? Let me see what I can do. You know, I thought you were different. I guess not. Goodbye. Uh, it's the ageless love story that never happened. I'm pretty sure I don't ever really recall any sort of commitment there, but hey, I suppose. I mean, it's equally possible I might have jumped ahead somehow in the progress of things. Excuse me, fellas, I need to buy me some ice cream. No? Hmm. Damn. And I died. Boy, as soon as one of them big mofos shows up, I just have no skills whatsoever. I need to figure out a spot that's just gonna spawn those and beat on them endlessly or something. I don't know. Okay, time to find a parking garage that is relatively close by, get us a car, and then finally make our way towards Victoria Peak. Because I think I've only been alluding to that for about the last... Oh, episode and a half or so. It's not my fault, though. I keep getting sidetracked by stuff and things. Stuff and things. Sure, we'll do a van, but we're going to change the paint job on it. No? No, we're not. It's worth a try. Okay, now it's time to spend 10 minutes driving across Hong Kong so I can meet up with Amanda. Ooh, and I get to photograph her. Wonderful. Don't worry, armored truck, your day is coming. Don't worry, driving well, your day is coming too. I, although I will say in my own defense, this thing kind of drives like a turd, so... It's not my fault. They started it.
Well, it shouldn't have got out in front of me. I think after this little, uh... photo shoot with Amanda. I think it's going to be time to try and track down some, uh... The guy is everywhere. It's going to be some, uh... Hopefully legitimate mission type stuff. Which I think the next one will be... Another part of a hot shot lead. This such be probably some manner of racing nonsense. Which, judging by the level of driving I'm pulling off right now, that should just be every shade of entertaining. But then again, my little race car, impound car, is certainly a bit better than a uh, little turtle man here. didn't quite end up being the uh, shortcut I had been hoping for. Then again, I'm sure there probably isn't much in the way of hill climbing vehicles in Hong Kong either. glowies anywhere? That is a negative. And a shame. But boy, that is a nice car she's got going on here. Wave! Hi! Hey, Amanda. You look frustrated. What's going on? It's closed. Why is it closed? The public is only allowed in on the weekends. Oh, this sucks. I wanted some pictures for my blog. Hmm. Well, let me see what I can do. Yeah, luckily you know somebody you know who gets stuff done. About writing a book. Yeah, with your photos, right? Yeah. I decided to do it on all those cool little shrines all over town. Oh, oh, can you take a picture here? Looks good, thanks. <laughs> you know, I have to say, that dress looks really good on you. Well, you know, this guy bought it for me. The guy bought you that dress, huh? Tell me about it. Well, he's pretty cocky. A bit of a jerk. But he's also kind of cute. And what does the guy think about you? I don't know. I hope he likes me. Well, I don't know about the guy, but I think you're pretty cute. You think you can let me and my friend in? No, I told you he's closed. Look, I'll make it worth your while. Hmm. Well, sir, it is time for my break. I think I'll go for a walk. You're so resourceful, Way. Hey, will you take some pictures for me? Please? Oh, over here. Oh, that's pretty. I think this is a good spot.
Good composition. One more. One more. That's great. Thanks. You're a pretty good photographer. Ah, no problem. My pleasure. That was great. Thank you so much. I can't believe you got us in here. Ah, it's no problem. I mean, it was fun. Kind of, you know, nice playing tourist in your own town. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks again, though, for taking the time to, you know, do this. Ah, it's okay. So, uh, was this, like, a good date? Sounds good to me. Well, what do you think? Definitely. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, thank you for the date, then. Aw, uh, yeah. You be getting him some. I have an idea. Oh, really? Tell me more. <laughs> can't be sure, but I think I just might have got me some in the parking lot of Victoria Peak. It's tough going, but sometimes it's nice being a badass, you know? I'm pretty sure I saw something going on over here. watch. It's alright, you can be jealous, I don't mind. I'd be jealous. that car is still up there so I'm not kind of stuck taking the turtle van back. Alright. Oh, come on. you got to be able to take this ride. This thing is way too swish to just leave alone. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is some heartbreaking stuff right there. But at least I have a van with a dragon on the side of it. And a barbarian. I guess dreams do come true. What do we have over here? Let's find out together. box without some ruffians to come and stomp my unmentionables in.
definitely feel better about that. Anything going on up here? Does not look that way. Does it look like there's any hacking? I think I will take this bike. I'm sure this thing is just simply bound to absolutely rock in the rain. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun beyond measure. be raining really hard. Raindrops are falling on the pavement in here. And let's set dreaded horizontal rain. As to where I'm currently going, your guess is definitely as good as mine. Down the mountain. I'm not sure if it's the rain's doing or if it's this bike, but this uh, ride in the rain is not very enjoyable. of going back up the mountain. That's just going to be a big old negative if I can avoid it. Bikes are just maddening. There we go. Actually, beginning to feel like we're on the right track. Uh, hit the big pylons. That'd be that'd be great. much, much better about this entire thing once I can get back on the freeway at any rate. Because then we'll be 
gingerly on our way to our next mission. There we go. Finally a chance to open this thing up a little bit. sooner do we get back in town and the horrible, horrible drivers show up again. Well, it's actually just me who's the horrible driver, but again, they started it. Yeah, we're gonna lose the cops that way. Wait, camouflage? Why didn't I think of that? My kingdom for a pain spray? Gonna have to spin that police car out really well, I think, but I'm still not really getting the opportunity. There we go. Where is this gonna run me? Uh, not too far. There's another check mark. Good for ten grand. Kind of mission.
option do we have here? Enduro? That does not even sound remotely fun. Guess we'll see what kind of vehicles this guy has got for sale. Maybe something cool. Yeah, there are definitely some nice looking cars here. But there are definitely some very expensive vehicles as well. Um, even at 40% off, that's still pretty steep at a quarter of a million dollars. Um, hmm. Let's see, maybe I can contact my valet. Hey, it's Way. I need a car. Uh, sorry, I, I don't have any time. Shit! What the hell? What am I paying that guy for? Am I paying that guy? Gotta be paying that guy, right? Well, I suppose. This is probably as good of a time as any to leave off this episode of Sleeping Dogs. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, be sure to hit that square little like button down below the video. Or share it with uh, your friends, or subscribe to the channel. Um, be sure to leave comments, critiques, questions. Let me know how I'm doing. I'd really love to hear from you guys. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter by following the links down below the videos. Uh, with that, thank you for watching. I've been Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming.